Heading into day three, this is not the video I was expecting to be making, put it that way. Look, I am out in the elements, I'm out in the cold. Day three of our eVTOL challenge. Out of 365 days, we will do this. But yeah, Trump has instructed America to do an operation inside Venezuela. They've captured the Venezuelan president and his girlfriend or wife or whatever it is. Look, I don't really want to get too much into politics. I don't really know what's going on there. I don't really care what's going on there. Some of you guys may be a lot more interested in it than me. But yeah, it does make me think. Ultra and Joby Aviation. Look, on a Saturday it is a hard day to make a video. The market is not open. There's not much news coming out. So maybe this is the perfect opportunity to talk about the defence industry. Arch and Joby, are they ready? How much of an opportunity is the defence industry for both Arch and Joby? So anyone that doesn't know, Arch and Joby, they are the leaders in the air taxi space where they're going to be passenger people. All the way, what, 30, 45 minute trips, all the way down to 10 minutes. But, yeah, they do also have defensive aspects to them. Archer partnered with the juggernaut, the giant. And stop Andrew. there before you get into it. I'm out in the cold, I'm out in the freezing, freezing cold. It's minus one degree Celsius. Don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I speak about Celsius, but do smash that like button. You have got very good in it. And also, smash subscribe. We are, what, 60 subscribers away from 4,000? Pushing on 5,000. Let's get back to the video. The giant, Andrel, where Joby is partnered with L3 Harris. Who's better? Well, we'll speak about that now. I think it's a little bit of swings and roundabouts. Ultra Aviation are building a hybrid VTOL project. And hybrid VTOL, more or less manned and unmanned drone with Andrel. There's not much specifications out yet. We expect it to be just like the Midnight, but it's going to be a hybrid model. It's going to be for reconnaissance miss missions, logistics, the sorts like that. Very, very similar. We have Joby with L3 Harris. Now, Joby is that little bit further ahead with L3 Harris. They're doing a gas turbine model that is crossed with an electric. They have done a flight demonstration all the way back in November, they are expected coming in to 2026 to do a lot more flight tests for L3 Harris. We need to think, Joby have already delivered aircraft to the Edwards Air Force Base. So when it comes to defence, Joby already have the ball run, they have aircrafts on the ground with the defence industry, where Archer feels like they have the bigger infrastructure at the moment they actually have a subsidy of their business where well, it's actually still part of the business but it's archer defense look all the way back when they first started doing this i thought are they pivoting are they coming completely out of the air tax space felt like it was defense 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 that's all they were speaking about at that time and guys do let me know how you feel about that industry we do know it is a multi-billion dollar budget so if we look at the likes of even L3 Harris with Joby, very, very recently L3 Harris were awarded a contract uh, to produce 18 satellites for the SDA. And I think that contract's worth 843 million. So these contracts you do get with the government are massive. Andrews with Archer is a little bit weird at the moment. So they are going producing the hybrid VTOL with Andrew. But this is all subject to Andrel actually acquiring a contract from the Department of Defense. Now, they are experts at doing this, but there's no contract written in place. And Andrel will buy the aircraft off Archer and more or less sell it to the Department of Defense. It's a safer way for Archer to do it because, look, they're not the prime contractor. But at the same time, if Andrel says jump, Archer says how high. Looking across to what else Archer's doing with Andrew, very, very recently, it came as a surprise to all of us, they are actually licensing out their powertrain from the Midnight for the use of the Omen drone built with Edge. And 50 of them have already been ordered in the UAE. They're also in talks with the UK Ministry of Defence when it comes to creating drones 
for that. We don't know how far that is along the line. Look, the defense industry is very, very hard. We think the air taxi industry is hard to get information out, but the air taxi or the defensive space is more or less impossible. Do hit that like button. You have got very, very good at doing the likes and smash the subscribe. We're 80 away from getting 4,000 subscribers. It is one of our goals here at the Hustle Brothers. Then I want to give a quick mention to Horizon Aircraft. They're also building a very, very defensive EV tool themselves in the Cavra X7. It's a hybrid drone or a hybrid uh, EV tool. We also have Cavra X5. That's a drone that can be also used for the likes of surveillance reconnaissance. It can lift about 150 pounds, where the actual X7 or the Cavra X7 can lift six passengers and a pilot it is positioned quite nicely we have been going on about their cash being quite short recently however look this is unverified by myself i do need you to jump in the comments to let me know but apparently they have acquired 23 million dollars they've raised 23 million dollars which gives them another 18 months left to runway that is extremely bullish for a rise in aircraft and i would expect them to run up now coming into the opening bell another quick shout out to vertical aerospace they are going down that hybrid route again i think they're going for more or less a thousand miles it wouldn't surprise me if it's a more or less a cargo logistics a ferrying ev toll but they would be quite exciting too though i think the ev toll industry will actually run up come monday i don't know how it's going to affect the rest of the markets this whole saga with venezuela I think US are more or less going to run the country until they can sort out what's happening. But I do feel like the EV tool space will run forward with the heavy, heavy ties in the defence space. Do let me know what you think. Smash the like on the way out. And until then, we'll see you on day four.